Heads up. If you have kids around, parental advisory is <laughs> yes. in effect. This, this, this is the Bonus Bone Podcast <laughs> with Lamont and Tinelli. It's like water torture. <laughs> Baby Huey. <laughs> Shasta. <laughs> and Joe Hawk. Welcome back, friends, to the Bonus Bone Podcast. Chasta, Lamont, Tanelli, Baby Huey, What's and up? Joe Hawk, and producer Smelly on the line with us. What, 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 what? 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 <laughs> <I'm drunk. laughs> so, last week on the Lamont Tanelli Show, we started talking about the fact that California has now or will legalize human composting. composting. And when the subject came up, I said, Smelly and I have been talking about this for a while because Smelly. This is what you wanted to do. You know, I, when I was talking to Lamont about it, I was thrilled, and Lamont couldn't figure out why. Okay, now, and by the way, I think we should we should tell everyone what human composting is. Yeah, exactly. So when someone dies, they take your remains, and they will put it into the ground under a tree so your your body will decompose and... and act as nutrients in the soil. You go back so, to the earth. So right. you will be, then be a tree, right? Am I right. getting that right? Yeah. 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 Or okay. whatever else you put your body worm into. Worm food. Right, exactly. Yeah. Worm yeah. food. <laughs> You're mean. not embalmed or anything like right. that. No, You're just, just naturally uh, put back into the soil. They so just put you in dust. dirt. I mean, so literally. Smelly had told me, and I was amazed by this, that you've been wanting to do this for a while, but you only want to do half your body. Tell us more. I need all the well, details. My burial is actually a four-part process. <laughs> and ever what? Since my father-in-law passed away last year. Yeah. It's it's this is how it actually got into motion because we had to figure out what are we going to do when we die. It's not simple process. And I told my wife I, I want four things. Uh-huh. One, my kids are going to pick their favorite tattoos because it's everything I have is for my family. Right. And that skin is going to be getting it removed from my body, and they put it into a solution. You can frame it like artwork. Jay and I have the same deal, so I completely, Ooh, hold I completely on, understand. Hold on. Uh, really? Uh, now we're in a whole That's different That's what thing. they do in Japanese culture, so actually. So you're taking your skin off your body, and you're going to gift it to someone. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Wow. Okay. And then Wait, pause real quick. Not- in Japanese culture, <laughs> yes, the actually, Yakuza, they'll yes, do the, the whole full body. Back, the full back. The yeah. whole body. Yeah. So they'll do so they have the tattoos. It's kind of like a suit. So like they from their neck. Uh huh. From their neck up. all the way down to the wrist and all the way down to the ankles. And they'll take that off and then they'll frame it in a full huge well, yeah. frame. Now that I know this, I will have to do this as well. I will donate my penis tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Jamaica. Enjoy the oh, stay. God. <laughs> we went all the way for that, apparently. So, okay, so you're taking off your tattoos. Okay, after taking off the tattoos, that's when I want to be cut in half. Okay, this is where you lose me. All right, so well, this is where I lost my wife, too, because she's trying to tell me you can't desecrate a body. I'm like, what are we talking about? We're already doing all this other work. Right. The top you're, half, you're taking the skin off. Right. The top half is the best half, okay? That's where my my soul, my heart, my brain, it's got all the good stuff. Right. Okay? And up until two weeks ago, I wanted it buried with a tree, and Washington was one of the only states that would allow that. Mm-hmm. And that was almost a deal breaker because I don't know anybody who would go to Washington to, to go visit, visit your tree. tree. To go visit your tree. Right. Also, that would be pretty expensive to have to ship your body up to Washington. Also, right. do they do they receive half bodies? I'm not sure about that. Well, part. That's the part we were working on. And my wife was trying to give up, and I said, "No, this is really important." Now, the bottom half. This is the the third part. That's just dick balls and legs. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, One would say that would probably be your most important. Part. <laughs> no, my soul is not my dick. <laughs> my soul is on the top half. So that's the part that gets cremated, and those ashes will be shared amongst my family in little necklaces, you know, with. So you, they're the going to be wearing ball. your dick and balls in necklaces. Yeah. That's dick and ball saying. ashes. And Got so it. number four. And this I hope I'm not on that list as much as I love you. I don't <laughs> want a dick and ball necklace. Thank you very much. So are they going to cut you in half? Me gets a dick and ball necklace. <laughs> number four. I'm going to leave a, a small bit of ashes left over, which is going to be pressed into and made into a Beastie Boys record of License to Ill. That makes sense. <laughs> okay. Knowing okay. you, that okay. makes sense. That's, I like that. That's pretty sick. That's cool. <laughs> so I, Lamont was just amazed that I had all, I all am. these final wishes. So. I, I really was. And I said, listen, for me, the only thing I would do 
is I would like myself stuffed and put over the mantle in my home naked. So if my <laughs> wife ever started dating a man again, they would have to look at me every time they came into the house. I, I mean, I, I do love that. I right? do appreciate the notion there. And you can use me to hang up your coat. <laughs> God. We know how you're getting stuff. Or a stuff. hat rack. Exactly. <laughs> I think I I totally am down with all of your plans, Smelly, except for the cutting in half part. I just don't know that that is legal in any state. Right. So are you thinking cut right at the waist or well, yeah, below your ribs? Well, yeah, but you're skinning the what? guy anyway. But what also difference does what? it make? A chainsaw? I mean, we're talking about cutting through the hips and the spine and all of it. I mean, Bandsaw? I mean, seriously, like, I'm not trying to be like... I've watched enough Dexter to see. Right, right. But, like, I don't know that any funeral home would do that. Have you done your research? And if you Google that and there's ever a question about you in a crime, you're screwed. You do realize gonna say, that, right? I going to get flagged yeah. right I'm not away. Googling it. Have you done research on that? No, it's my wife because, you know, she works in the medical field that she's like, they, they won't do that. And I, I'm trying to figure out why they can't. Like, that's my research right now is... We'll take you down to the slaughterhouse. I mean, I guess, I guess if you have it in writing in your will, then they then they might. That's I, what I, I don't right. know. I, say. I think your final will and testament, if you say that you wanted to Be separate your... Half. Yeah, like you wanted... I don't know. That might also go to I will though. say this, though. The one thing I do like is the immortality part where you're making jewelry out of oh, the yeah. ashes know, and everything. Mm-hmm. So what I have now come up with, if, if I leave anyone some money in my will... Okay, mm-hmm. they have to earn that money. Mm-hmm. You, know, oh, yeah. you know, I've always got, I've always got. <laughs> Are we going back to our lottery okay? discussion? And, uh-huh. and here's the deal: oh, God. if they pass on it, if they pass on my condition, mm-hmm. they don't get any money. Okay. So I think what I would like to do is a fully nude spread shot on like a uh, poster, <laughs> but it's got to be ceiling length and put up above that person's bed that they have to look at that of for the you? rest of their life. Oh, for the rest you? of their life. <laughs> <laughs> my God. I'm like the Sistine Chapel. Oh, <laughs> you are the new David. <laughs> exactly. Your mom is the new David. You don't want to be David. No. <laughs> very small situation there. That is so dark. Does anybody else have Wait, funeral plans? I have very Could the mortuary cut plans. your body in half? I guess maybe they will. You know if, what? We or the coroner call, would. We should call a mortuary and ask them that. Hmm. Also, I the, say just I mean, take the him down got to the, the slaughterhouse. <laughs> also, the tree situation, which tree would it be? Well, they plant and, you with, you would be a brand new tree. So they would plant, from what I understand, they plant you with is like. Is there a location? Oh, oh so Smelly oh. would have a weeping willow? Uh, <laughs> pussy willow. Yeah, pussy willow. <laughs> Smelly, do you know, do you get to pick any random place or is this going to be like a, instead of a graveyard, it would be like a tree yard? Yeah, so well, like that's, a, that's the part where I think California will be different because in Washington, they had to be trees that kind of matched the area. Like oh, right. Like if you're in a forest, they're not going to put some. Like a palm tree. tree. That just is, yeah. Okay. That doesn't match the environment because it okay. brings in predators and whatever. That's true. Whatnot. You that know, makes sense. Say, Smelly, your luck, they're going to make, uh, put a, you into a tree and that tree will turn into toilet paper. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> and there comes a chainsaw. You're getting cut in half and so right. is your tree. Exactly. There's a theme here. That would be right? trippy if there was a forest in California of all bodies. That, that also, I know a like lot a about Japan, forest. but that goes back to suicide forest oh. in Japan. Do you guys suicide know about that? Forest that's in suicide Japan. Yeah. Forest. That's though. different, but I'm just saying that all these trees are made out of bodies. Humans. Yeah. I could totally see Colma doing that. Right. They're probably going to jump on that. There will they'll probably be like a cemetery, but with trees, because if you yeah. make, you're a death tree in your yard and you sell your house, nobody's going to want exactly. I had that thought. tree. Yeah. You know? Also, then you're stuck there with like new people that moved in and one of their douchebags and then they're like, you know, their right. dog's crapping all over your tree and like that's a whole nother situation. And can, is the tree off limits for being cut? Afterwards. I would hope. Like I mean, surely if I it's would think so. In a guarded area. Yeah. You what if you're think? a nut tree and people are eating <laughs> your nuts all the time? <laughs> well, that'll be a first for smelling. I, oh, <laughs> damn. Oh, this I'm, is great. I, I hope you're taking notes there. Oh, yeah. Um, actually, I really, really like. I know when we brought this up on the air, I thought the human composting, the, the, I think the phrase human composting just sounds a little ick to me, but the idea of you then turning back into the earth and being part of the earth forevermore, in theory, um, is really beautiful. It's almost as bad as Soylent Greens. Almost as bad? The movie. 
Oh, I haven't seen that. I don't know what that is. I haven't seen that. Yeah. you never seen Soil and Green? No. No. I'm just thinking of mm-hmm. Forrest Gump talking to that tree. Yeah, it was right? Jay. But I mean, okay, so this is this is a true story. So Jay and I were hiking one time. Jay and Cody and I, not too long ago, were hiking one time. And we walked through this really big uh, area of trees that were like overarching, right? And all of a sudden we heard this like, like the craziest we thought it was a crow and we start looking around for like birds around us all of a sudden we realize it's the trees talking to one another it wasn't like they were rubbing each other (laughs) i have it on video somewhere i have to find it it was the most eerie and beautiful thing i've ever heard jay and i were stunned and cody even said are they talking to us and i said it sure sounds like it (laughs) so in that moment i had like i mean this is like getting really hippy dippy but i had this like real moment of like wow right like earth and life and mm. it was incredible so now i'm kind of a fan of this and i think that's what i would want to do my biggest issue is i don't know where i want to be buried because my family resides here my as in jay and cody mm-hmm. right. right and all of my close friends mm-hmm. but my family family is back in oklahoma right. mm. so maybe i'm gonna have to cut myself in half too that, that, oh. that, could, that could be <laughs> smelly maybe you're onto something here and I have a fear of cremation because the really? thought of burning is one of my f- biggest fears of dying by burning. So then your tree might burn. I, and that's oh. really true. Oh. So like, I, I have very specific plans, very specific plans, including the playlist for my funeral. Wow. But what I can't decide on is what happens to my body. So this what? is like really making I want to roast when I die. Like, I want yeah. everyone to tell jokes. Yeah, I think yeah, that's a great go. idea. Right. Yeah. And we will, Yes. When you get cut in half, do you want to be cut vertically or horizontally? (laughs) (laughs) Well, you know, I mean, I think a girl's uh, southern half is more, um, how do I put this? Desirable? Uh, Yeah, desirable, but also like creating. You could plant that under a bush. Creating. (laughs) (laughs) I was thinking of like life creation and, you know, giving birth is mm -hmm. very important. and very. we're talking about the ass. Full circle, not not talking about that. I'm more of an ass guy, Chelsea. So I think I'm going to have to go, I think I'm going to have to go vertical. just you down a sewer then. There you go. (laughs) (laughs) Smelly, that was a very, as these jackasses were having that conversation, that was a very thoughtful question. Yep. Uh, I'm thinking vertically. <laughs> vertically? Yeah, but I don't know. I so, do have very specific. You guys are all going to be a so part of this. your left side so. or your right side? Go straight down. Yeah. Yeah. So who gets your left side? Oh, who gets, who your- gets what? I don't I don't know. <laughs> What's your good side? I know, yeah, <laughs> my left side. My left side. My left side stays here with Jay, my right side. Go. So, <laughs> Smelly, are you only going in two or are you going to portion it off? Like, I mean, legs and then upper body and then maybe a little head every once in a while in this place and that place. <laughs> no, like I said, it's, it's going to be... Wherever that, wherever is right above my dick and balls is where they're going to cut. It's the hip, like right you're going there. right at the hip. Right. Oh, it just seems like the hips would be hard to cut through. Maybe yeah, so maybe a little above. You just have the spine above yeah. the hip. I mean, this is so fucked up. Like I just have to say that. Like what we're talking about is just the levity is like whoa. Um, okay, so does anyone else have plans and or funeral plans? I have a very specific funeral that I want. I I don't. The only thing that me and Sam have talked about is that she wants to go first and let me suffer <laughs> when she goes. That's really about it. Like, I have no... Like a married guy would exactly. suffer if his wife went first. <laughs> I was waiting. I wasn't going to say it because I was waiting. Oh, on one you, of you Lamont, talking about my, a party. Uh, yeah, right? <laughs> my question is, what is your tipping point to have a naked picture of me above your bed for the rest of your life? What's the price? Yeah. Mean? Everyone's got their price. That's a lot of money. Not enough. That's a lot of money. I don't know. Everyone's got their price. 100 G's. 100 G's. That's it. Well, Smelly is naked for the rest of his life. (laughs) You whore. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I'll go ahead and tell mine since you all have to be there. If I go first, I want a traditional New Orleans jazz funeral. Okay. okay. So I have um, a path that goes from my front door. I'm not going to tell you exactly where because I don't want the broadcasted, but it's in my neighborhood and it's three. 3.1 3.1 miles. It's exactly a 5K. Mm. And you I make want... you walk? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, nerd. Everybody is getting... You want getting... the rest but, of us but to but drop dead at your funeral? Back. Well, it's a loop. <laughs> when oh, she goes, it's, okay. an exact, <laughs> it's an exact loop. Yeah, exactly. Everybody's going to get some body movement. I'll walk the door and say, I'll meet you when you come back. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's going to get some body movement as I go out. So there's a three-mile loop um, from my house back around again. I want everyone dressed in black. I want it to be a proper jazz funeral. Mm-hmm. And I will have the playlist 
list. Oh, baby, you, friends, you can wear whatever you're wearing <laughs> today. Yeah. All my friends and family. <laughs> T-shirt. <laughs> Perfect. All my friends and family will be there and can, you know, do whatever they want on the jazz funeral. But that's what I want. Got to be black. Oh, yeah. I, hello. Oh, that's all I okay. wear. In, in my Nothing honor. brighter. No. Hawaiian no. shirts or anything no. like that? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna, you know what? I'm going to find you I have a you black a, Hawaiian shirt. I was just going to say, right. for Christmas, I got to find no, you like a black. No, I have a, a black, couple of them. You do? Yeah. Oh, see, you're already ready. <laughs> well, they're not like pitch black. I mean, there's, there's That's okay. They can have shades of black. Okay. That's I fine. want a hearse like the queen that's see-through in the back. Dude, that is a pin. Yeah, the glass, right. the glass hearse. I'll but take... I don't want to be in a coffin. I want to be naked in the hearse. Everything so is naked. So the whole neighborhood can see me. Oh, my God. Everything it's, is naked. Seems like you got some urges here, Lamar. <laughs> I know, right? Exactly. <laughs> he went there with the he was... <laughs> and that won't cost me a penny. <laughs> I want that, but I want the horse carriage version of it that's outside of the haunted mansion in Disneyland. Oh yeah, oh, okay. You know what that you thing's like? very cool. It's super With the flames, cool. Uh, the candles on yes, the outside. I and love that thing. You sure, you don't want people actually drawing the carriage like they did for the Queen. That's, I mean, maybe that's a better idea. That's very. <laughs> that's that very was the bougie. Navy. That was, that was the Navy. That was the Navy. Yeah, oh, she cool. likes semen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else with funeral plans? <laughs> That I don't involve nudity. I haven't really thought about it in depth. Although I do like the composting idea. Yeah, do that, you? I could see you doing I'd that. Give that it some seems thought. very you. You turn into a tree. Because right now we're thinking about cremation. Right. Yeah. So. Are you really? You and Boy, Lisa. that fire will go on forever right? with booze in your oh system. Oh, my God. Watch out for the explosion. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to think there's a refinery fire. <laughs> I didn't know. Oh yeah, God, it was combustible. Dark. The compost will be a methane field. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It'll be like Shoreline when they first opened it. There'd be like spontaneous flames coming oh, up out of the ground. Dude, oh, no. Because it's a landfill. Yeah, yeah. I've heard so that. So when they first made it. There were there were like flames coming up out of the uh, lawn area. <laughs> That's crazy. Just spontaneous because of all the methane underneath. That's yeah. wild. It really added to the concert light show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they saved on pyrotechnics. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's crazy. Huey, you look like you're in deep thought. I'm just thinking cremation in like 20, 30 years is probably more common. I always wonder, will we run out of land? Oh yeah, I mean eventually, body? yeah. So would cremation be more the prefer or standard? Only of- allowed. Well, you know what they do in New Orleans, right? No. Have you ever? Oh, this is crazy. We get a burning. So you know they they have the uh, the ones above ground. Yeah. So they put you in, and then they they you know close you up, and then eventually you'll decompose. Mausoleum. Yeah. Right. And yeah. so you decompose. You're not in, embalmed. You don't stay that way. Right. You go right. down to the dust, and especially in New Orleans because it does get so hot. It's like 500 degrees inside of those. Stinky. So you, within a year, you're pretty much dust. So then they take a broom kind of thing, and they go and they push you to the back, and you go into a fan. <laughs> Family urn. So there's an urn on the back side of that. Um, what do they call that? The the drawer that you're in, basically. Yeah. Right. Um, and so they push your ashes into the family urn, and so the whole family ends up going in the same one, and then they put a new family member in there, and that just keeps their cycle. Mm. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Here's another problem that I have. The thought of like It'd be cool roasting. if they did that with an hourglass. An hourglass? Yeah, oh you can just God. turn it upside down and keep time for everyone. Oh, that's actually a really interesting idea. Right? I bet yeah. that's a that's got to be a thing. I don't know. Right? It should be. Million dollar idea right Right? There. Yeah. You look perplexed still. No, no I was just thinking, because I actually know someone who's actually... Watch me in the time. No, they're young, but they've already bought their plot of land where they want to be buried. Oh, really? So they're in their early 30s, but they bought already a piece of land because they don't want that burden on their family to spend Oh, money. that's nice. So I just don't know if... One of that could be something, you know, you buy your property. Are they married? Event. No, they're single. Really? Wow. So what happens now if they get married and that plot of land is not even close to being available next to them? Oh, they, they stack. You can stack. Oh, you so, can't oh, stack. Couple. The, these are, there's a plot of land for cremated people. No, this is a, for, oh, for, for, a for, burial. for burial. For, for a bar- ground oh, burial. 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 Yeah, this person oh. bought yeah, a full piece of property. Wow. Already. That's wow. That's interesting. That it, I mean, it's tough because mm-hmm. if they end up marrying somebody like me, right. who's yeah. from a different state, and they right. want to be buried back there, then you don't know what to do. I mean, I would or, probably be buried here since Cody and Jay. What are if here. they have a second marriage? And that's then, true. And right. then now you're all of a sudden, now this. you've got like a threesome there in the hole. Right. Hello. <laughs> I think that's really fascinating. These mm-hmm. are the things I think about. Does anybody else have a playlist? You and I talked about this one time. Yeah, a long time ago. A funeral playlist. 
Yeah, no. I, I think, I think, of, like, I think of fun party rock songs. Oh, really? So like ACDC, Have a Drink on Me. Uh huh, uh huh. Um, I mean, yo, Metallica. Jay stresses fun. out about this all the time. He's like, if he if a song comes on and he thinks it's on the playlist, he's like, is this so? Is this is on there, right? And I'm like, yes. He's like, okay. He's so stressed out. I'm like, what? do you know something I don't know? He's so stressed out about the funeral playlist. He wants to make sure it's right. So I want to think. Out. I want to play everything to make everyone cry. Really? Like old Yeller. Oh. Oh. I mean, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> when one with, of his with goes, that dog gonna... sound effects at yeah, the end. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Dog and getting just... shot at the end. I'll be oh. crying over the dog, not over Lamar. <laughs> exactly. At all. Everyone be like, oh, she was so touched. Exactly. No. no. Um, you know, you do realize if any of us go anytime soon, they're going to listen back to this and take notes for what we want, yeah. <laughs> what we wanted. Or, I'm going to so be would, naked with pictures <laughs> over everyone's bed yeah. in a see-through hearse going downtown and go. old Yeller playing with dog <laughs> shots. And I was kidding about getting cut in half, but uh, Smelly was not. Right. No, I'm very serious, and I'm sure Lamont's wife's pissed. That she has to give me a hundred grand. <laughs> <laughs> so you're totally down to have Lamont this is the over, hanging over yeah. your bed for the rest of your life. I like the oh, way yeah. you're passing off the hundred grand on your wife. Well, hold yeah, on, yeah. hold on here, oh, hold on. I didn't agree to the hundred grand. I said, "What's your price?" Oh, I wait. mean, I might negotiate that. A <laughs> hundred grand? I don't know if a hundred grand will do it. I love you, but a, yeah, the rest exactly. of my life, a long damn time. See, Smelly's a real friend. He's willing to do it for a hundred. Grand yeah. to look at me naked for the rest of his life. <laughs> we love you, Smelly. Thank you for inspiring such an interesting conversation. Of course. I'm still really messed up in the head about cutting you in half, but we'll make it happen if that's hey, what you want. I'll do it for you if you want, buddy. I know. That's a whole different level. <laughs> make, a, <laughs> make a puppet. <laughs> well, there you go. On that note, I think we're done. Thanks so much for being here. We'll check you out on the next episode of the Bonus Phone Podcast. Wow, that got dark quick, didn't love, it? Love, love. Happy Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>